Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by today. For today's video, I am going to do a Will I Buy It? So we're going to go over all the new makeup and beauty releases and talk about whether or not I'm interested in buying them or not, and if I plan to pick them up or if I'm going to pass on them. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I um, will link the um, sites that I refer to down below in the description box, but I usually refer to Trend Mood and Indie Makeup Spotlight, I think. Um, so like I said, any, um, any um, Instagram accounts that I'm referring to will be linked down in the description box below. All right, the first thing I see here is um, that Fenty is releasing new lipsticks. These are the Fenty Icon Semi Matte Refillable Lipsticks. I like that they're refillable, that's awesome. So they're thinking about the environment. And these are super pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. And it looks like there's a red and then a bunch of neutrals and some browns. Um, let's see, how much are these? Ooh, nice. The lipstick bullet shape inspired by Rihanna's Cupid's Bow. For precise application, packed with moisture plumping, hyaluronic acid, and conditioning vitamin C and E, lip, long, lip loving amino acid technology for a plush texture. 10 shades, $20 each. And I guess there's a case, which is the, like the, I guess that's the one, two, three, four, five, hexagon. Um, I had to count how many sides. I didn't want to say octagon, so it's a hexagon. <laughs> so it's her, um, signature hexagon shape and I guess it's a case to hold the lipsticks oh or maybe the lipstick case is $12 I don't understand that I don't know how much the refills are I don't know I don't quite understand I'm not sure if that octagon thing I'm seeing on here is just the PR box or if it's a case that you can buy or if you buy the refills for $20 and the case is $12 I'm not entirely sure on that one but the packaging is beautiful it's the standard hexagon shape and um, the colors are gorgeous and I love the fact that these are refillable so you're saving the environment too so I would say yes I'm definitely interested in these um, that blue red is very pretty although when I wear reds I tend to stick with matte um, liquid lipsticks because you know, they don't bleed and they stay on a lot longer. So I'm thinking if I got anything, it would be more of a neutral shade. So I like that neutral pink nude and I like the mauve nude. Um, so I'm liking, what is that? Mother Lova and I like either Ball and Babe or Scala Sister, Scholar Sister, Scholar Sista. <laughs> White girl talking here, can you tell? Um, I think if I was going to pick anything up, it would probably be Scholar Sista and either Mother Lava or Pose Queen. Um, so yeah, I am interested in those. Those are on my wish list for sure. I'm not sure if I'll pick them up right away, but they're definitely on my wish list. I, I like moisturizing lipsticks. I like bullet lipsticks. So yes, I'm marking those down as something that I'll probably purchase in the future. Um... Really, really like those a lot. Okay, let's keep on moving. So next up, I see that Kosas is coming out with a new foundation. This is a clean, skin-loving, medium coverage, SPF 25 foundation and treatment with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptides, squalane, vitamin B5, arnica, and caffeine medium coverage with a natural finish and it's coming in 36 shades and they're $42 each and it says niacinamide and caffeine visibly bright and smooth and even skin tone squalane arnica and pro vitamin b5 smooth calm and balance skin's ideal oil and moisture levels peptides and hyaluronic acid visibly plump firm and hydrate and they'll be available February 10th at Sephora I am not gonna lie, that sounds really nice. I have so many foundations though. 
But what I think I'll probably do is watch some reviews. Um, I do see some colors that might work for me. Um, I do like the shade range a lot and I really like what they're selling here. So what I'll probably do is watch some reviews and based upon those reviews, if it gets really good reviews, then I'll probably pick it up like in the next sale that they have that Sephora has. Um, I don't need a new foundation right away. I have so many that I'm trying to get through. Um, so I'm going to hold off, but it's something that has definitely piqued my interest for the future. All right. Um, let's see. Next up. I see that Tarte is releasing a new concealer. This is the PowerFlex Concealer. Looks like it's available at QVC. Oops. And let's see, what does it say? Delivers weightless full coverage with an appearance of a natural looking matte finish. Features Hydroflex technology, 16 hour long wear, 16 hour crease proof formula that blurs and brightens the appearance of dark under eye circles while feeling like an eye cream with 24 hour hydration, vegan waterproof and sweat proof. It looks like the concealer and the brush is $28 and I think this is available only at QVC right now, possibly. Okay, this is something also that intrigues me. Again, I don't need any um, new concealers, but I'm always on the lookout for a concealer that is hydrating under my eyes because I have very crepey, dry under eyes. Um, you know, I'm 44 years old, so that's kind of to be expected at my age. I've just always had dry under eyes. Um, and my skin is normal to dry. Anyway, so um, I am definitely interested in this, but again, I'm going to wait and watch the reviews um, and see what they say about this. Um, and if the reviews are really good, that's something I might pick up later. $28 for the brush and the concealer is not bad at all, but I don't need a brush. I just need the concealer, so I'm curious how much it is for just the concealer if they sell it alone. Okay, it looks like there's another concealer here by um, LYS. I've never... Yeah, I, I have a bronzer from LYS, but I haven't tried it yet because it's a little too dark for my skin tone. I got it in BoxyCharm, so I haven't ever actually tried anything from LYS, um, but I've seen some good reviews on some stuff that they have. So um, apparently they're coming out with this new um, Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. It says rich, ultra creamy concealer that helps visibly brighten, conceal, and nourish the complexion with a skin like finish. Full coverage, natural finish, and it has 25 shades. Oh, and the Tarte, I don't know if I said how many shades they have. But they had a pretty good shade range. Anyways, um, so it says ashwagandha, which is Indian ginseng, acts as a powerful, a powerful herb to help combat skin stress and visible signs of aging. Turmeric provides antioxidant protection, brightens, and helps in even and soothe skin and hyaluronic acid hydrate. So this is another hydrating concealer. So it's another one I'm interested in. So like I said, I'm going to sit back and watch reviews um, because I don't need another concealer and see how the reviews are on this. And this is something that I'll have down on my maybe in the future wish list. Um, looks like that it will probably be available will be available February 8th on their website and at Sephora. So I'm not going to pick this up now, but maybe something I'll pick up in the future depending on how the reviews go. Okay, looks like uh, Makeup Revolution is coming out with another collab with DC. Inspired by Gotham City's dangerously charming duos The Joker and Harley Quinn, Batman, and Catwoman. They're super cute, and it looks like they have a cream blush palette? I wasn't interested until I saw that. <laughs> I have no idea how their cream blush will go and their lipsticks are super cute. And I've tried their lipsticks before. They're not bad. I am not a fan of their eyeshadow quality, but I do like their blushes and I do like their highlighters, although these highlighters look a little dark. 
the cream blusher quad looks really pretty and it's only $12 so that one if it comes I wonder if it's going to be at Ulta I don't know even if it's not that's something that I'm interested in is the cream blusher quad um and possibly the lip kit because the lip kit is $12 and it looks like it's maybe a gloss, a lip liner, and a lipstick. I can't tell. Yes. Mm, I don't like the color of the lipstick. Darn. Okay, so I'll pass on that. I don't like the color of the lipstick. It's kind of a fuchsia color. If they had made it the same color as the lip gloss and the lip liner, then I might have been down with it. So I think if I were to get anything from this collection, it would just be the cream blush. Oh wait, there's another lipstick. I don't know. I think if I was going to get anything from this, it would just be the cream blush line. And that looks like it's in the Harley Quinn packaging and it says Mad Love on the outside. That's super cute. But I think right now the only thing I would be interested in is the um, cream blusher quad. So that's something that, yeah, I might pick that up. Okay, it looks like um, It Cosmetics is coming out with their Heavenly Luxe Love is the Foundation Brush. They come out with this every year. Um, Love is the Foundation Heart Brush, I should say. Um, they come out with this every year. I usually pass it over because I don't need any new foundation brushes, so I'm good. It's super cute, though, and I love It Cosmetics brushes. They're super soft. Um, okay, it looks like there is a new Gloss Balm shade, Gloss Balm Heat Shade in Lavender Savage. Probably not anything I would wear, and to be completely honest, um, oh, it looks like they're also promoting the Laced Up Teddy. I guess maybe that's part of her, part of her lingerie line. Super pretty Teddy. Anyways, um, I probably will pass on this lip gloss. I have plenty of lip glosses and I don't find myself wearing lip gloss a whole lot. Um, just because most of the time when I wear lipstick, um, I either have a mask on or I'm filming and I don't know what it is with the shape of my mouth or the shape or how my teeth are or whatever the case may be. I swear every time I film with lip gloss on it, inevitably wind up with lip gloss on my teeth. It doesn't matter what tricks I do to keep the lip gloss from getting on my teeth. I always wind up with lip gloss on my teeth. So if you guys have tips and tricks on that, please tell me. I do the thing where I stick my finger in my mouth and, you know, go and pull it out to get any lipstick in this inner ring out. But I still always wind up with lipstick on my teeth or lip gloss and lipstick when I wear lip gloss. So that's why I never wear lip gloss in videos. So I don't know. So I'm going to say no, that's a pass for now. Um, plus I have so many lip glosses. Okay, um, let's see. Next up, it looks like available now, new additions to the Pout Spoken family. So Jaclyn Hill's Pout Spoken lipsticks and lip liners are, I guess she's expanding the line and these are like brighter colors and red colors, um, red and orange and brighter colors. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, there's a nourishing lipstick remover too, apparently. I'm interested in the lipstick remover more than I am in the lipsticks. I don't need any more lipsticks. None of these shades are really calling to me. So these are a pass for me. I haven't actually tried her, um, her Pout Spoken lipsticks, but um, I don't really need any more liquid lipsticks right now, so those are going to be a pass. Next up is the Kylie um, Valentine's Day collection. This is super cute. She always does so good with her packaging. Um, it looks like she's got a highlighter with like a gorgeous heart. Like it's raised up, stamped in there and raised up. It's really pretty and all of the pans are heart shaped super cute um and i have to say i don't know if those have um glitters yeah i can't tell if those have glitters or if those are just their shimmers because 
their shimmers, if they're just shimmers, they look super, super shimmery. Um, and they're really beautiful colors, but the rest of the palette is really neutral and kind of, the mattes are kind of honestly not really calling to me. The shimmers are, um, but I have a lot of really good single shimmers, so I really don't need a palette just for four shimmers because like I said, the mattes aren't calling to me. Uh, the palette's super cute with those heart-shaped um, pans though. Looks like she has some cream blushes, but I have a lot of cream blushes and I'm already talking about possibly picking up that um, Makeup Revolution Blusher Quad to try it out. So I would say I will pass on these, especially since they are 17 each and I can get four for 12 um, with the Makeup Revolution. The highlighter is beautiful. Um, honestly, it looks a little deep for my skin tone. Not interested in liquid lipsticks and I have plenty of lashes. So honestly, this I'm going to pass over, but I do think it's a super cute collection. She always does such a good job with it, with her packaging and all that. So, um, you know, if this is calling to you, I, I'm sure it's probably pretty good quality. I've I've tried her shadows in the past and I've liked them in the past. Um, I've never tried cream blushes or highlighters or, well, no, I have tried her highlighters and they were really nice. So I'm sure these are probably really nice as well. Um, her liquid lipsticks weren't my favorite, but that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty picky on my liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over. Um, Let's see, what's next? Okay, Dust of Colors, looks like they're coming out with a Valentine's Day set. There's a Heart, Heart Cheeks Cream Blush Sticks. Those are 22 each. Those are super cute. Again, I don't need any more cream blushes. I have a ton of liquid and cream blushes, so I'm trying to limit those. Um, and again, if I'm going to possibly pick up that Makeup Revolution Quad, then I don't need these. Um, there's a Heart Eyes eyeshadow palette. Okay, it looks like it only has four shades. It's only four shades. Um, it's only four shades and honestly I'm not really interested in those colors. It's very neutral with a pop of pink. I don't need that so that one doesn't really call to me. The lip colors call to me because I love Dose of Colors lip colors. Lipsticks. Um, they're some of my favorite. So my favorite liquid lipsticks are Dose of Colors, um, mm -hmm. Lunar Beauty, and um, Jeffree Star, which I don't really promote Jeffree Star on my channel, but he still has an amazing lip formula. So those are my three favorite liquid lipstick formulas. So definitely interested in the liquid lipsticks, but I don't need any more right now, so I'm not going to pick those up. So this whole collection is going to be a pass for me, but it's a really cute collection. And I am interested to see what the reviews are on the, um, on the cream blush sticks. That's something maybe in the future I'll pick up because I just like, I really like the quality of Dose of Colors products. Um, so as I maybe use up some cream blushes, then that's something I might add to my collection later because I am finding myself using cream a lot more. All right, next up is the ColourPop um, Rock Candy Palette. It's a 30 pan eyeshadow palette. Um, I've already seen some reviews on this and there's three pressed glitters in here. And I think there's some mattes with glitter as well. Um, and then in the comparisons and reviews that I've seen, um, I specifically watched um, Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun. And I really like how she compares palettes um, to each other, to one another. And she compared this palette to Bare Necessities and to Stone Cold Fox. And the Smoke and Roses palette. So all three palettes. So um, this palette was super similar to all three palettes. So basically it was almost like you take Bare Necessities, you take all three of those palettes and you've got a little bit of each of those in this Rock Candy palette. And I have all three of those palettes. So I don't feel like there is a need for this palette in my collection, especially since there are three pressed glitters in there. I'm trying to stay away from the pressed glitters because I don't use them. 
um, and I don't like the mattes with glitter either. So this is going to be a pass for me. Normally I would be all about picking this up, but being that I saw that comparison from Amanda, and thank you so much for that, Amanda. Your comparisons are amazing if you ever watch my videos. I don't think you ever will, but if you ever watch my videos, thank you for your comparisons. They are amazing, and I love your flat lays. Um, anyways, I don't feel the need for this. Um, however, they did come out with a new um, lip formula called the Glowing Lip, and those... I'm all about those lips right there. Every single shade is beautiful. And they are like a glowy, thus the name glowing lip. They're like a glowy, um, glossy formula. That's the word I'm looking for. They're like a glossy formula um, in a stick lipstick. And that I like because it's like the best of both worlds for me. I could wear that and probably not get that all over my teeth like I do lip gloss and then my lips would still be nice and um, kind of glossy looking. So I'm very interested in that and they look like they have a lot of pigmentation and every single shade calls to me and they're not very expensive. And I've already looked them up and I might be ordering the whole collection. <laughs> so if y'all are interested in a lip swapping, swatching video, not swapping, lip swatching video please let me know down in the comments down below um because i i may very well film that if you guys are interested in watching that i have pretty pigmented lips so i'm really curious um to see just how well these will show up on my pigmented lips um so yeah i'm definitely interested in those i know i'll get at least a few of them but i might just pick up the whole collection because they're super pretty all right, looks like Laneige is coming out with a new lip sleeping mask in chocolate. Oh, that sounds divine. I love the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but I have like three of them, so I don't need this. Plus, I have some other lip sleeping masks that I've received in different subscription boxes and stuff like that. Um, so I have no need for this as much as I would love to pick up a chocolate lip sleeping mask. It sounds delicious. Um, I am going to pass on this. I hope this is something, though, that stays in their line full-time and it's not just limited edition. It doesn't say whether this is limited edition or not. So I'm really hoping they leave this full-time full, full -time in their line um, because this is definitely something I would pick up. Like, I would, I love this sleeping mask so much that sometimes I wear those as my as my lip like I'll literally put on the lip sleeping mask and just go out of the house with that because it moisturizes and it gives a little pink tint to my lips so yeah I'm interested in that but I'm not going to pick it up just because I have I need to get through the ones that I have okay next up it looks like um, Urban Decay is coming out with a new concealer so this is the third concealer we've come across so I'm just gonna go and say that I'm not going to pick this up I will wait and see the reviews. This is called the Quickie Concealer. Um, it says, hashtag coming soon on their website and retailers, available now in Europe. So there's no information as far as like what the finish is um, or any of the ingredients or anything like that. So I don't know anything about it. It looks like there's some kind of a sponge on the top of it to help you blend it out. So maybe that's part of the whole Quickie effect going on so it looks like there's you know your typical doe fit applicator but then on the top of the lid it looks like there's either a sponge or a brush that helps you blend it out which is pretty innovative I think that that would be very helpful and if it's something you can potentially wash because like they've got that sponge on the Maybelline Age Rewind but a lot of people don't like that because they feel like it's not very sanitary and you can't exactly wash that because then you're going to get water inside of your concealer. But this is on the outside of the concealer and on the actual top of the lid. So that's something you could potentially wash or sanitize. So I think that's kind of a cute idea. So I am curious to see the reviews on this. Um, but again, it's not something I would pick up now anyways. Okay, next up it looks like Ulta's getting on to the Make It Black. Um whatchamacallit, a fundraiser, I don't, I don't know what it's called, charity 
I guess would be the right word for it. Um, so they've got a new Make It Black collection and it looks like there's different brands that are participating. So it looks like there's um, Uma Beauty and Morphe and MAC Cosmetics. So it looks like Oma Beauty is releasing their Black Magic Carnival eyeshadow palette, but in like a limited edition packaging, and the proceeds will go to the the charity to benefit the charity. And then um, it looks like Mask Matte Cosmetics has lipsticks with luster glass finish, and then Badass Icon Matey lipsticks. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Uma Beauty as well. Okay, so Uma Beauty has both the eyeshadow palette and they have lipsticks. And they have some some pretty ones down there. They have like a black one, but then they have some neutral ones. And then they have a red one. And then it looks like MAC has some neutral ones. And they have kind of a pink fuchsia color one or magenta colored one maybe. And then there's a Morphe eyeshadow palette. And then the Oma Beauty eyeshadow palette. So all of those are in limited edition packaging. And um, I guess all the proceeds go to the Make It Black fund. So it says 100% of the net proceeds will go to the Pull Up for Change Small Business Impact Fund. Wow, that's really good. 100% of the net proceeds. I could get down with that. Oh, there's also an e.l.f. makeup sponge. I don't even see the makeup sponge. Interesting. I don't see the makeup sponge in the picture, but that's okay. I'm sure it's just a makeup sponge, like one that maybe they already have and they're just repackaging it possibly. I'm not sure. But I could definitely get down with this, especially the nude lipsticks. I probably would pass on both eyeshadow palettes, but... I mean, the MAC lipsticks are $21, and the Badass Icon lipsticks are $24, so I like that. I like the nudes in both lines, so I don't know, I might pick up one lipstick or something, possibly. That'll give me an excuse to pitch into charity and get another nude lipstick in my, in my collection. I don't know. That's a maybe. We'll see. I'll have to see if I can find those in store. I'd like to look at them in person. Okay, looks like um, Sigma Beauty is coming out with Hydra Melt Lip Masks. Um, and I've already seen some reviews from some people that got these in PR and they are really liking them. So this is something that I would be interested in maybe in the future. But again, I have a lot of lip sleeping masks. So, not to say that you have to sleep with these on, but um, they're still lip masks. I don't need any more lip masks because I have too many in my collection. I do like the spatula, though. There's like a, a full-size spatula, um, Sigma spatula that, you know, has the actual Sigma handle on it. And it's got a, like a silicone spatula at the end, and it's only $11. So, if I were to pick anything up from Sigma um, in the future, I would probably add that, that spatula to my, um, sorry, I'm messing with my, I shut my, um, eyelash because it, I think it's trying to pop off on me. So, I, 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 yeah, I think it's trying to pop off on me. Anyways, okay, we're going to truck through this. So for now, those are a no, but I might pick up that, that spatula in the future. Looks like, um, Physician's Formula is coming out with a new highlighter called Let's Toast. It's actually really pretty. I wish I could, they had like a swatch of it though, because it looks like it might be too dark for me, to be honest. Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a champagne color, just based on the fact that it's got a picture of two champagne flutes inside the, the highlighter itself. It says, create a multi-dimensional glow, buttery soft formula, skin loving makeup packed with essential fatty acids and pro-vitamins that soften, condition, and moisturize the skin. Made with a blend of Murumur butter, Kapakua butter, and Takuma butter um, for $15.49. So being that I can't see swatches and it looks a little deep for my skin tone, this is going to be a pass for me, but 
this might be something that I pick up later. Um, okay, the Ace Pute. I can't remember if I posted the video I did on this or not. Um, but they have their Tropical Vibes collection. I They had already released the palette. Um, and I have the palette. And I did a video on that. I just can't remember if I posted it or not. I hope I did. I really liked the palette a lot. I really do like the palette a lot. Um, but now they're also releasing four of their... What are they called? Tropical Vibes Glimmer Shadows. And I do like their Glimmer Shadows a lot. They're a lot like... Um, almost identical to ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and I love Super Shock shadows too. And I think all four of the shades are gorgeous. Um, I am not in the market to pick them up right now because I'm trying to be really careful with what I spend my money on. But it looks like for all four of them, it's only $28. So that's not bad. This is something I might pick up in the future, not right now, but definitely something in the future, maybe as it gets closer to fall because I feel like we're going to be coming into spring now, so these aren't necessarily shades that I would be wearing right now. Um, coming into the spring as often as I would in the fall. So these are something I might pick up in the future, but not right now. But if you are in the market for those shades and you like ColourPop Super Shocks, I think you would really like these. Um, they are really good quality. I have four of their Glimmer Shadows. And I really do like them. They perform just like the Super Shock Shadows do. So I do recommend them. And $28 for four of them is a really good price. That's what, $7 a piece? So yeah, I would recommend them if they're if you're in the market for something like that. KVD is coming out with a Good Apple Concealer. Lightweight and full coverage. Um, it says instant full coverage for all skin types. Extreme long wear and lightweight. Hydrated skin like finish, apple extract and raspberry stem cells nourish, unique applicator mimics fingertip for precision, interlaced pigments create smooth crease resistant coverage. It comes in 32 shades and they're $28 each. Hmm, okay. Um, again, I'm not in the market for a new concealer right now. So this will be something that I'll watch for reviews on. I know that the Good Apple Foundation got really good reviews. I personally haven't tried it yet, um, but it is something that I'd like to try in the future. So perhaps based on the reviews, I might want to try this in the future, but it's a no for me for right now. Looks like Beauty Bay is coming out with a new palette, and I thought I was going to be fine passing this up, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the swatches it's got a lot of purples the reds I'm not so excited about but it has neutrals and it has really really pretty purples and I really like the Beauty Bay formula and it's only $18 so this one is definitely on my wish list it's called the what's it called where'd it go love notes palette Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Yes, I'm, um, if, if I, if I can, I'm going to pick this one up. Hopefully it hasn't sold out already. Um, if it's still available and the budget allows it, I'm going to pick this up. Like, honestly, this is the first thing I'm super excited about. Like, it's really pretty, except for the glowing lips, um, from ColourPop. But I would pick the eyeshadow palette over the glowing lips, honestly. So I would rather have the eyeshadow palette than the glowing lips. <laughs> That's just me. I love eyeshadow palettes and I have so many lipsticks and so many lip glosses that I'm okay waiting on the glowing lips. I would rather have that eyeshadow palette. So we shall see which one I go with. Um, my guess is I'm probably going to wind up going with the eyeshadow palette though. So if y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comments below, and I will try to get that ordered and do a review on that. Morphe is coming out with their own Valentine's Day palette called the 9Y Heart Candy Palette. Um, it looks like it has some neutrals and it has some pinks in there, and maybe a red or a reddish pink color. Um, this is not anything calling to me. So I'm going to pass on this. I have enough pink palettes. 
Um, if it was purple, yeah, it would probably be calling to me, but I've got enough pink palette, so I'm going to pass on that. Okay. Um, next up, I see the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. This is a beautiful palette, but I have decided that I am going to pass on this because I saw a review by Morgan Turner, and every shade in here is a re-release. And I have every one of the palettes that um, these shades come from. So like that middle shade, it looked like it was a new shade. However, she found it, I think it was the middle shade. I think she found it in the Safari palette, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the shimmer shade was in the Cranberry palette. Um, and that's really the shimmery pink shade. That's really the only one that I was super interested in. Um, the other ones, I was like, I probably have those in my collection, I could dupe those. And then that shimmery red is in the Metropolis palette. I have that palette as well now. Basically I'm saying that I have all of those shades because I have the Cranberry palette, I have the Safari palette, and I have the Metropolis palette. And I think that's where all the shades were, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but check out Morgan Turner's um, review on this and she'll tell you where all of the colors came from. Um, because they're all a re-release, so I, it's a pass for me because I don't need them. Um, and with all that being said, we are done so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a like. Um, that really helps me out here in this YouTube space. I'm just a little micro channel trying to get noticed out here. Um, and I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel. I have lots of content coming up. Um, I also have a giveaway going on. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll be drawing that giveaway. I will um, link that up in the cards up above and down in the description box down below. Um, again, I will make sure to um, link the two Instagram pages I was looking at and referring to when I was looking at all of these posts. And I will also, you know, in the in the video, you'll probably see um their names sometimes pop up on there too just to make sure that i'm giving them full credit because they do all the work um and it's very helpful to have those instagram pages to refer to to see all the new releases coming out um but yeah with all that being said i want to say thank you so much for watching i hope that you are having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world i hope that you are staying safe i hope that you're staying healthy and i look forward to talking to you again soon bye